Hi, this is Gabriel Duplicating Systems, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up user codes or department ID as a setting within your printer's driver. In this video, I'll be covering both Savin's user codes and Canon's department IDs, and first, I'll be covering the Savin user code. So to get to that menu, I would just go to the search bar and type in printer. Click on this first menu. And the printer for this demo is going to be a 5503. Click on it, click manage, click printer properties, click advanced, printing defaults. I'll bring this up, click on detailed settings, job setup, and right here is where I would type in my user code. I'm just going to leave it as 1234, and then I would click apply, and then OK. And now that user code is saved in to this computer and this printer, it will always send this user code to the printer. So let me go ahead and do the Canon really quickly. The demo Canon in this case is going to be this 3530. Click Manage, Printer Properties, Device Settings. Under User Management, click Department ID Management. Now click Settings. Click Allow Pin Settings and go ahead and uh, type in your department ID. I'm just going to do 1234. The pin is optional in this case, but I want you to deselect this Confirm Department ID pin when printing. This just makes it one step harder to print. And then if I did have a department ID in this machine, I would click Verify to make sure that the department ID is already in the machine. And from here, I would just click OK, and now apply, and OK. And now this department ID is saved on this computer, and it will always send it to that Canon printer. So for Windows PCs, they have the option of, of allowing the user code or department ID to be installed into the printer's driver. Whereas on Macs, you have to do it you have to always implement your user code or department ID through something called a printing preset. PCs also have the ability to take in user codes or department ID within a pre printing preset, but they also have this option of doing it through the driver settings so that if you don't use printing presets but you use a user authentication, you can have that user authentication always saved on your computer without having to use a printing preset. If you have any questions, feel free to ask us down in the comments below or contact us directly at Duplicating Systems. Our contact information is in this video's description. I hope this video helped and thank you for watching.